What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing all good. Back again with if I'm being honest, probably my final pit up video of this year, if I'm being honest. Um probably yeah, at this pace it probably is. Um sort of a mixture of <coughs> games, some actually some games actually. DVDs, some hot wheels. One hot wheels I did give to Retro UK, which I did meet up with him today actually, as we were told him. Um, he'll probably mention where he picked up things, and I'll, put, um, I'll show what I picked up today from Nerd Base when I went with him. Um, so I got them a, some Aussie comics, like usual, one of them actually a science comic, a figure, which I picked up from Nerd Base, some of the, some of the comics I did pick up from Nerd Base, I know. A CD. With that CD, I got a purchase of, of a I got a Christmas card with it and a book. But the book's the same artist, so I did that. <coughs> I'll show you that when I get to it. <coughs> but again, I hope everyone is okay. Um, hope everyone is sort of ready for Christmas. Um, I know in about a week and a half ish, um, Game Zone Boardroom will be doing his. Uh, live stream Secret Santa, which obviously <coughs> I did um, take part in. Um, hopefully, I can make this dream. If not, I'll, show, I'll, I'll do a um, pre recorded video for the stream. But either way, you see what I got. I received what is it, Secret Santa, <coughs> which to be honest, I haven't even seen yet. I'm curious, but I haven't seen it yet. <coughs> so. I'm going to start with the, the few hot wheels I picked up, but like I said, <coughs> one of them did go to Red, to Red UK, which he'll probably show in his next pickup video. So, one of them is a, from the Batman Arkham Sign game, so I got one of them, um, put that there, um, <coughs> this one is again from the Batman film. The new, the newest Batman film, which is uh, not, I think the all these all came from Lidl's, when I got these, so check your Lidl's, and these were like about a pound fifty to a pound eighty, depends on the ones you get, and this one is from the Lightyear film. So I've not seen those them. Uh, I do. Uh, so the games, <coughs> um, mix it all, eight, look, four Xbox, one game, some three, PS4 games, um, three of these were the three for two from game, which I'll do in a second, but first one is the charity shop finds, Star Wars Battlefront, I did not think of space where to put these, but uh, um, next three are CXs. <laughs> I think most people might know I've been getting up, uh, getting um, NBA games for like the PS4, Xbox One. So these are those balls that. So NBA 2K20, 18, it's fucking annoying CX stickers, and 17. Uh, that's so that's up until I think 18 or 19. I pretty much got most of the. <coughs> Xbox One, a few from PS4. So at some point, I need some more for. Uh, so, the three for two games I picked up, I thought I've done quite well. And I think I did anyway. Um, <coughs> initially, I went in for one game, but because it was part of the three for two, I thought I'd see what sort of uh, other sort of games I've got in now. So, the game I actually wanted was a pound one and see the eggs, but we converted it to one. Right, it was a deal, not too bad. There was Hell's Blaze, Sinner's, Sinner's, Sinner's device. Um, a mate of mine let me let me place it on my account on, at least it was signed into his Xbox account on my Xbox, which was able to let me play the, some of the game, past games on my Xbox. This is one I've always wanted to try. Um, we really, really fucking enjoyed it. Visually, this is arguably one of the most 
beautiful games on this generation. Well, I think it is anyway. And the, the story is fantastic and all from what I played. I think I'm about an hour, hour and a half in from what I left off. But I really wanted it in, in the collection. Um, and I think at the time of me picking it up, I think Game had it for like twelve ninety nine, So not bad price for, you, for the quality of game you're getting. So that's about, <coughs> about panels though <coughs> more than CX. But the free game was picked up. I've seen other two was picked up but sealed. But like a little cheap. But mine was second, second hand. But it was free. So it balances out. And that is Monkey King Heroes Pack. It, I don't know if it just looks bad or it looks so bad it's good. Um, that was my freebie. But this I picked up. I've personally never seen it. Um, so I don't know how, because I don't know how common the game is. Please let me know down below if it is sort of common ish. And that is Will a Wonderful World. This game had this for, I want to say about four or five pounds, but CX, they sell it for ten quid. It's one of these sort of, um, puzzle, Japanese name eight type games, but let's see it. Um, never saw it, but it was part of three or two, so I sort of pretty much, I felt like I had to pick it up, so... Uh, so there's the games. I'd now do the the DVDs. Um, two of these are Christmas films. One of these is a film of that sort of. If you don't know the title on the front cover, it's a bit of me. I saw the trailer for it. It looks so sort of the trailer makes it look so bad. It's good, so I sort of have to pick it up um, and. Three like box sets. So first two films are the Santa Claus, obviously very timely film to get, and the Santa Claus. So I think there is one more after this, and the, the um the new Disney Plus thing. I don't know if it's a show or movie. If you watch, if you are, if you've watched it or are watching it, please let me know, and if it's worth watching. Um. <clears throat> the film that sort of I put, I put in there for a sec. The film that sort of looked the title on front cover was a bit of me, um, and sort of looked so bad it was good. <laughs> the B bikini bandit experience. It's a the infamous cult classic. A, a B movie epic, pointless, depraved. It it the trailer looks so bad that good, but when I picked it, when I bought it from CX, it was yeah, bought pretty I ordered it. <clears throat> I thought it was one disc, but it's not a double disc because you get all the the film itself, or well, same film, but you also get. Between the bandits, three motherfuckers, which is like seven episodes. I'm guessing it was the a TV show version. I don't know, but again, it's it's me we're talking about here. Okay, it's me we're talking about. So there's that. Um, the, the box set is right in. One of these has a CX. What your fucking stickers out? Get like easy pill stickers. Look, flash is a fire. Look at that. It was, uh, see it, look. Easy, the easy pull stickers, for fuck's sake. So, season five of the flash, uh, six of the flash, and seven, ten fucking stickers. Um, I do have season eight on the way, but was he, by the time I got done this video, it worked, didn't arrive. So, what can you do? Um, so I'll show you my, um, CD book bundle type thing. Um, so for me this year, I don't know about anyone else. This year, has, for me personally, has been a year of finding and appreciating new artists. 
in things I love. <clears throat> so what I mean by that is comic books, I found the creator of Loves It way behind her. YouTube, I found River City Rebels who's now rebranded to some music thing, but I'm still enjoying them. Music, I found this, I found this, this artist. Now, <coughs> a lot of the sort of music, obviously, because she's like, she's has this persona of herself, plus I think that she's part of our band and our persona, but when it comes to this persona, her music's very about rape, it's about the uh, women's power sort of thing. It's basically, it's, it's, it's about, and also her, about her sort of struggles in a sense, as a kid, like when she was in school, was in the music industry. So it's very sort of powerful women sort of uh, S sort of thing. So the first one I picked up, so I think it's out of the bag, was I thought, so the one I found, I looked on the website, I want to sort of support her. Um, I'll get that out first. And uh, I thought I want to support in some way. One thing she showed was this. Was this? It's called. And you wonder why I want to scream, right? Very fantastic art. Um, it's about some of her songs. It's about basically her struggles of coming through the industry, um, and it's. Uh, so basically, a story but her in, uh, experience in the industry, but also, but when I older, you, you have the option of doing it signed. Um, and, it's, and I did. Um, but oh, I'm not doing that. But also, so like, she let her she with this order. She put a note in. Um, again, you got to do it personally signed. Which things like that, I sort of like. I think I said to you, like, I, sort of, I think I said to it this morning. I'm talking about him about it. It's supporting because she's a UK artist, so it is sort of for me, it's supporting local. Um, and I think, mean, in a sense, supporting small, which I think we all need to do. Um, but obviously, doing black, what's your black Friday? I don't say that's a Black Friday special or a uh, Cyber Monday type thing. She's doing deals on her merch, merch on her website. So, of course, again, I want, like, <laughs> didn't, want to, didn't want to support her. Um, so, I picked up one of her CDs. Um, and this is, I think, it's, I think it's her debut album. And it's called Ready to Kill. Again, I've got it signed. Um, On the behinds, so it the out. Basically, it was a little um, lyric type book. I got that signed, but when I ordered it, I was this. So I was requested to get it signed. Not to me personally, I thought I'll take. I'm gonna get another note. I did the last one. But no, I got this, right? Now, in my head, on her website, because of the, this sort of time of year, she, I, I thought it was, if you sent over a certain amount, you got a Christmas card. That's why I, I thought it, it said. But, I got a Christmas card. My only, my, my only Christmas card this year, um... And it's obviously to be really, uh, this to be this the season to be slain. Da la 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 So the new So so much love and best twenty twenty three from Delilah. Um again this is a nice little sort of pace that see the sort of Christmas card combo. Um I'm I'm actually tempted to try and find a frame for that and frame it. Um, that's, for, that's, for, that's for my own sort of personal display. Um, 
<coughs> so yeah, um, <coughs> I'll sort of I'll do my nerd based pickups. So that'll then the second bit of pickups will lead into my comic books. So uh, after a few weeks ago, um, <coughs> me and Ed sort of I see a month or so ago, I want to say ish. <laughs> me and Ed sort of discussed about doing a little sort of mini road trip to um, nerd base. Um, <clears throat> I think we, it's into a point now where we try and do something like this every once every three months. It seems like <clears throat> that's what it feels like because we've done one at the beginning of the year, then we've done the one around the night time for my birthday, then we've done this one. So it does every two three months. It feels like we're doing a little mini road trip, which I appreciate. I I, I enjoy spending time with. But one of the things I picked up was like. And this year I was looking around, like, when I go to Nerd Base, I always think, hey, what Kevin Smith stuff they've got. Unfortunately, they've not got none. They've had none the last few times I've been there. So I picked up three toilet books, which I'll show in a second. I was like, I need to, I want to, I want to, this one makes this worthwhile. Um, so I think, I was looking through some of these sort of necker stuff, they, like that, you know, base I've got. I was like, Oh, that looks good, but the price, this looks good, but the price, I'm, I'm sticking with a budget, basically. I'm tight on like that. Uh, but, a lot. down the bottom of the next stuff, there's Sin City stuff. Now, I enjoy, I was sent to it, I think I was sent to it on the way to the car. I don't remember what happened in the first Sin City, nor have seen the second one yet. It's in my backlog, which you can probably see now. It was like DVDs. But I remember enjoying it. So, but they had some of the figures. But the one that took, took, took my eye, versus the price I thought was reasonable, but it, it's me, is the the Nancy one. This was 20 tweets. They had obviously the, this black, they had the black and white version, but they also had a, a coloured version. Um. I'm, sort of, I'm now sort of tempted to sort of pick them up. Uh, but see if I, every time I go there and there's one now, I'm tempted to pick one up. But obviously I have to go for Nancy first, naturally. So is that. Uh, I don't know. I picked up from there was. Um, I saw a little bit of Star Trek once, while it runs. <coughs> I'm, I've done. I was missing two books. Uh, issue no, and issue one of Star Trek Mill Wars. I was like, oh, please let them have them. And they, lucky enough for me, had them. So, they have the no. And issue one. So that's now a complete run. And also, people that don't know me, oh, one of my favourite characters is Deathstroke. So I picked up a variant of issue four, which. Oh, I'm loving this. You can probably wonder why I like this cover. But there's that. Uh, I tend to not think this through. Did not think this through. I'll put it there for a minute. Um, next up, books are books I've been picking up from local shop or ordered and whatever. <coughs> so the first book is actually a science book. Because this was a reasonable price. And... The original price for this book was 23 twids. I think I paid about 7 8 twids. But it is Batman One Dark Knight. But this is the. I want to get this correct. The Forbidden Planets exclusive. Jot variant cover presented by Forbidden Planets. But it's also signed by Jock, which is the artist, the artist and the creator of the book. But the annoying thing is. Because it's, it's like, I'll show you this. So this is an old comic size. Yeah. This book will not go into my long box. So I'll find a place for this, unfortunately. So, is that? So this is basically a stack of books. Um, so yeah, I'll go through them. So I've got Poison IV number 7. I love that one. I've got <clears throat> two variants on the way. By the time I was this, this 
I'm doing this inside. Yeah, I can not to wait. Um, <clears throat> I need to add some. I might do a review on this on the first issue, and that is Punchline issue two. Really enjoyed the first issue. Um, oh, this bird. All right, this is a local comic shop variant of issue one of Quick Stops. Also, if you read the issue, you'll know why it's that. Um, I don't want to really spoil anything. Um, I've got issue two of Star Trek, another Star Trek book. Um, I'm trying to sort of, most of these are like one long run. So, another death stroke, um, a variant on 15. Um, I picked this up because one of my. The, the artist who done Love Seek done the front cover out of that's wrong it's sign number 8 it's probably the only one in the run I'm probably going to have I think last video I showed a I mean, Holly Twin number 22 this is another big stack of them so I've got Harley Twin 14 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. This one I really like because it's a killing joke inspired cover. That is not a this one I also like, that's 23. And this one is the, the latest one, which is a sort of 90s inspired cover. And that is Harley Twin, number 24. So, <sighs> nice little stack of books. Um, so, yeah, slightly longer one than I normally do. But I hope you've enjoyed. Um, like I said, this is probably my last pick up video of this year. By the looks of it, um, depending on how things go. But if it is, I hope everyone has a good Christmas. I hope everyone has a very drunk New Year's. Um, let me know your thoughts about some of the picked up, what you like, what you don't like, what you think of my mug for picking up. Um, things like that but I hope to speak to you guys soon and uh, yeah ciao for now guys